thought I was dramatic. Dear, isn't she literally you? I really gotta thank you, Princess Toadstool. Without your intervention with the Star Rod, I would still be stuck in blissful ignorance. You opened my eyes! The... Star Rod? What do you mean? Did she... Peach? Is it true? Did you wish for this? I didn't wish for this whole mess, but it's true that I wished for... Uh, something. Why? Why did you ruin it? I was so happy! How could you? I hate you so much right now! You were ruining my life! Why you always have to be so self-centered? Think of me for a second! to say the least. I... I've been asleep for only an hour. This dream I had felt like it went on for years. It must have been a good dream then. I hope I was in it. But whatever. You're finally awake. You can continue having fun with us now. <sighs> I'm still waiting for the fun to kick in personally. I'm so relieved, dear. For a minute I thought it was all over. You thought what was all over? Why, the sleepover, of course. Are you sure that you're okay? Yes! I'm fine! You can stop asking already! Now where is the sleepover cap of destiny so we can keep on having pure, unadulterated fun? <gasps> so, next activity. Play video games. Let's do just that. Come on, ladies. It's sleepover time! So, you have an idea of what we're gonna play? Oh, I have a whole assortment of games and accessories. You're not gonna believe it. Like this mat for this dancing game that I have. It's all the rage with the young toads these days. It's a wonder they can play it with them having no legs. Let's take turns. Oh, this is hard! <laughs> Yay! Stop! What's the matter, Daisy? She's not playing fair! You mean she's cheating? Come on, dear. This mat has no bars. No, it's worse! She's floating! Th that's how I always played the game. Why don't we just play another game? I'm not in shape enough for this one anyway. Ooh, it's Daisy's turn to choose. Oh, you have this portable game! And an adapter for this old boxy console! That means we can play it on the TV! Aren't all these consoles boxy? Get ready to see my skills! I will blow your mind! Make sure to blow into the cartridge first! It's a historical retelling of my kidnapping. They took a few liberties with the locations, but it's pretty accurate nonetheless. It looks pretty gray and dull. Let her have this one, dear. This is literally all she has. Like this desert here. Most people think this place is my kingdom, but it's only one location in the land that I rule. You have to go through quite a lot of ground before you can actually get to my place. You gotta go through these baddies first and this big sphinx-like thing. And then, <gasps> look at this! Right there, that's me! Dear, are you all right? What did you see? Th th that's Bing! I'm not 
not sure what it is, but it did bad things, terrible things. Don't you recognize it? But it's me. Oh, what am I saying? It's not really me. In this game, it's actually a monster in disguise. A thing of deceit and lies upon posing as royalty. A lame, purposeless thing, if you ask me. Not too far from what I am, really. What? Daisy? Why would you say such a thing about yourself? You're not a monster. Rosie! Don't stay silent! Say something! Even calm down, girls. It's just me. Ah! Rosie, what just happened? Your head just went poof out of nowhere, and now you're up there and a giant. Are you a god or a ghost? I am a lot of things. I don't think this pocket universe took too kindly to having both me and a fake memory copy within it, which is why we need to get out of here as soon as possible. Well, slow down a bit. A pocket universe and a memory copy. What do you mean? Nothing here is real. The castle, that other Rosalina, everything besides you two. These are all memories of a time long past. Everything? Even the sleepover? Don't be absurd. I think you may have had one too many super mushrooms when you became a giant. This is not a joke. A supernatural force trapped you girls here, and now is threatening your very own reality. I'm here to take you home. I wouldn't count on it, dear. Uh, come again? First, how do we know you're not some big mushroomy ghostly space goddess impersonator who's got world domination plans of her own, huh? For the love of Luba. Second, I feel it in my guts that this is reality. It doesn't seem like a dream. I know what it feels like to have a whole adventure as a dream. It happened to me once. And third, it's a sleepover. I'm spending the best time ever with my friends. So even if it turns out to be an illusion like you're saying, aren't things better this way? Mm. Let me remind you that the Rosalina in this universe has literally no head. <coughs> okay, fair argument. Let's just go back to super bleak world already. Head? No head? Is that any different from before, really? Alright, get ready for departure. But be warned, interdimensional traveling can be rough, especially when you haven't recovered a lot of your memories. So hold on to your crowns! <laughs> Daisy? Daisy? Hey! You must be confused! I am not Daisy! I am... Whoa! What is that? Has Toadwell mixed up my laundry again? I'm not a lousy palette swap! Who are you calling lousy? Dear? Is that you? Th that's not what I meant, dear. These colors are fine. They're just not for me. Is that so? Or is it that you cannot stand the thought of being like me? Daisy, what are you saying? Are you okay? You have everything. You have the most powerful realm in the mushroom world. Everybody loves you. Even the enemies of your kingdom love you. I've always been secretly wishing I had what you have, without ever expecting to ever have any of it. I never wanted to be resentful to you. I was happy being your friend. But you rejected me! Maybe I was wrong wishing to the stars to be someone better. Maybe what's happening in this world right now is just the evil in me that was bound to take over. No, no. 
This is clearly some external force at work here. You have nothing to do with- Whoa, dear. What are you doing with a poison mushroom? Uh, Daisy, I don't like you getting close to me like that. Oh, you don't like it when things don't go your way, right? Stop. You're scaring me. You created this mess, dear. Now you get to face the consequences of your actions. It's something that I should have done a long time ago. Farewell, monster. You're up, finally. Told you it'd be rough. You're finally back to your senses. Uh... I am. You've been out for at least an hour. It felt a lot shorter this time around. Oh, yeah! Where's Daisy? Did she regain her memories? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... Sadly... She's gone. No! For a walk. Oh... Wait! She's out in the rain? And you didn't hold her back? She might catch a cold! Oh, believe me, I tried to persuade her not to go. But she needed some time to think, so she says. I need to talk to her. You need to stay here. I highly doubt she wants to talk to you right now anyway. Also, I don't want to deal with the second disappearing friend. Because you're obviously dealing with the first one. I was keeping the fire going and watching you. Now, you rest. No! I will not rest until I talk to Daisy! Daisy! Where are you? Daisy? There you are! Daisy, I didn't know you felt this way about me and about yourself. I didn't know it was such an issue. You should have told me. You're my friend and I don't want you to go away. Oh, Daisy. Please. I beg you, don't end your game! I'm not going to end my game. You... you won't? Oh, thank heavens! No. I'm going to end yours! End! No! Ah! How could you wish my happiness away? I know we were friends! I THOUGHT WE WERE BEST FRIENDS! I don't know! It was a gut reaction! I didn't like how it made me feel! Please don't take your anger out at me! You don't act like that with your friends! How could you be so inconsiderate? So uncaring! So... So... Selfish. I was selfish. You finally had everything! Everybody loved you, and I resented you for that! I should have been happy you got the popularity you deserved, but I was not! I didn't think about anybody but myself! I'm so, so sorry, Daisy. I treated you terribly. You're right to be mad at me. You didn't deserve such bad treatment. I understand if you don't want to be friends anymore. I truly do. Hmm? The thing is, I don't want to stay mad at you. I simply can't imagine a life without you, dear. That's why I felt so bad when we stopped hanging together. We've been through so much together. I didn't hold it against you because I love you so much. I love you too, dear! You deserve so much better! I'll be a better friend from now on! <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Long enough to be sad about having compromised your friendship. I'm not even angry about the frying pan thing anymore. No, Rosie! Don't be sad! I'm so sorry for that! Time for a group hug! I love you, ladies. I'm so glad to have you as my friend. I hope we never fight again. Man, look at us, crying and sitting in the mud. Yeah, we might act all high and mighty with our crowns and jewels and 
fancy dresses. But when you think about it, that's pretty much all we are. Three little princesses. <laughs> well, not me. I'm not a princess, remember? Okay, I put us all in deep trouble. It's time I get us out of it. I'll help too! I want to kick that little doppelganger's butt for everything she did! Let's go! Wait, where are you girls even going? Do you have the slightest idea of what you're going to fight against? Uh... Of course! She has a version of me from a place called the Retro Dimension! We have to ship her back to that dimension pronto! It's gonna be a bit hard to do. Why is that? Because this Retro Dimension... It doesn't actually exist. What?! EXPLAIN YOURSELF! That's the power of the stars for you, ladies. The thing is, stars sometimes need a little interpretation to make some wishes work. When Daisy made her wish, this past version of herself and the whole retro universe were imagined using Daisy's own vision of the past. But, you see, the power of the stars is very stable. Even with these new elements in our reality, there were no further side effects. That is, until Peach made her counter wish. <laughs> this is why the Star Rod needs to be handled by professionals, and only in a rare case of serious crisis. Gah! Yes! I know! Shouldn't have made that stupid wish! I'd just like to know why it turned out like this. What was your wish anyway? You know what it was, dear! I wanted everything to go back to the way things were! By wishing for the new Daisy to go back to her former self. Which former self? The normal one or the past one? Oh. Oh! This is what I mean regarding the power of the stars. Give them ambiguity and they'll fill in the void. In this case, they gave us two daisies. Now what are we gonna do with the other one? I know! Let's use the star rod to erase her and her minions out of existence! A swing of the wand and poof! They're gone! What?! Have you listened to anything I just said? We already have two wishes stacked on top of each other, and now you want to add a third one? This could tear the fabric of reality itself! Blech. Reality should be made of a stronger material, in my opinion. No. If we want to solve this problem, we'll have to deal with it hands-on. We have to destroy Retro Daisy. Destroy? Yes. She's not real, remember? It's not like we're ending the game of a real person. Exactly! And with no ethical implications, we won't hold back from obliterating her! Right, Daisy? Right. We won't. Now that you girls are up to date, put your crowns on, grab some power-ups, and ready yourselves! We are going to save the Mushroom Kingdom! Whoa! Fire flowers? Tanuki suits? You came looking for us prepared, dear! Which reminds me... You didn't exactly say how you were able to find us. It must have been a pretty difficult task all by yourself. Oh? Who said I managed to find you all by myself? I've had, let's say, a little help. Hallelujah! The princesses have emerged from eternal darkness! They will bring salvation and glory to all mankind! Save us for the sake of your steadfast love! Church of the Cleansing Tides, open the portal! There. This portal will lead us to Peach's castle. This is where we will find... Um... Let's call her Past Daisy. Yeah! Past Daisy, you're going down! Daisy! You're coming or what? Yeah, let's do this. Let's show the Daisy of the past that in this universe, there is no backwards compatibility. Hey, hey! Watch out! Be careful with those paintings! There are whole worlds inside that have yet to be conquered! Minions! Where's my crown? We found this one, your majesty! Do you want to put it on? Huh? Give me back my kingdom! Yo! How did you escape? Wasn't the idea of an eternal sleepover enticing enough for you? Looks like we'll have to send you to a place a little more permanent! Minions, attack! This is it, girl.
girls. Ready? Go! Go! Take that and that! Look! The weaker baddies go poof when you touch them. That means Rosie was right. I always am. Now! What the? Hey! Don't you run away from the battle, you little coward! We came just for you! Wait until I... Huh? Rosie! Huh? You were right indeed! This suit does give one a big butt! Focus, Daisy! Not in those fine boots! Good! See you next fall! Daisy, no! What did you do, you monster? Gah! Look at me! I'm so angry, I'm shaking! I don't think that's you, dear. This thing... It's... Yeah! Ah! What an ill-fated encounter! I knew that painting was fishy! Take that thing outside, Daisy! There's a limit to how destroyed I like my castle! No, dear, it's actually helping! Look at all the bombshell Koopas, bob bombs, and flames it's eating! Uh... There's something about what I just said that makes it sound like it's a terrible thing. <laughs> ah! My castle! I just had the walls repainted! You will pay! Literally! Don't mind that, dear. I think we have slightly more pressing concerns right now. You really thought that a few power-ups could stop us? You're playing the wrong game, princesses. Now that you're all shrunken, I will take incredible pleasure in having you stomped to oblivion by my army! She has a point. We're kind of in a big pickle. Don't be so quick to give up, ladies. Somehow, I just know it! As long as we stick together, and no matter how many hardships befall on us, we shall be crowned! Easily. Let, Let me break, break it for you, dear. Mega Fusion Princess Carambola has entered the battle. Uh-oh. You? Stumping us? What a preposterous proposition. We have no choice but to put our foot down. On you! That's not fair! Fusion is just a cheap tactic to make weak princesses stronger! I'll use one of my own power-ups. You'll see! Oh! Game on! Hey, stop it! Get a load of this! Huh? <laughs> you should have had the punch, punch, little lady. We have to admit, we're rather, rather blown, blown away by, by your power. power. In, In fact, a friend, a friend of ours would love, love to meet you. you. And let, let us tell you, they're a huge fan! Nice shot, dear! Thanks, dear. Yeah, that was super awesome, dear. We're making a good team. We should do that more often. Nothing can stop us. What if she made it? We'll smash her with my tennis racket. You're kidding! My pan is way more effective. Not as much as my wand. No! Tennis racket! No! Pan! Dear wand! Ow! Ow! Well, that was nice while it lasted. We have to do that again the next time Bowser attacks. He'll be in for a surprise! Indeed. But let's look out for past Daisy right now, just in case. Looking for me? Looks like my retro zapper found you first! Uh, <laughs> more like retro hair dryer. Was that supposed to do anything? Your thing's a dud, man. Oh dear, your hair, it's turning red? Uh, it's okay, dear. I just feel a little... Ah! Quick! 
I'm a Luigi! King Koopa has locked me in his Coney Island Disco Palace! Huh? Why do I want to go to a Milli Vanilli concert all of a sudden? Uh... Girls? R Rosie? I... I don't feel so good right now. Oh my, would you look at that! Looks like your blue toadstool clone friend doesn't have a retro self. Guess that instead of becoming a minion of mine, she'll just disappear. How dare you! You can't do that! You're a pure fabrication of the power of the stars! You are nothing! No, I am not nothing! I am your past! You never hear a single word I'm saying! And you wonder why nobody, not even your friends, want you around! Don't listen to her, dear! She's getting into your head! She isn't getting into my head! She's already in it! She's me! You know it's true! Everyone is always having their little fun all by themselves! Nobody wants anything to do with us! Heck! We don't even want each other! And we're the same person! Did you just... I'm tired of hearing her senseless jibber-jabber! Just finish her off! Rosalina is leaving us! <gasps> She's right. Ah! I'm undesirable to everyone. I'm a fraud. I was. I still am. I'll forever be. Nobody ah! loves me! I can't take it! Do something. I need to stop. I'm hurting myself. Ask Daisy. If I'm going, I'm taking this kingdom with me. <laughs> Look at me. My home dimension was already in shambles. And now I'm doing the same thing to this world. This is what we do, Daisy. You and me. Bringing nothing but desolation around. Forever destined to be alone! This is what we are! Uh, Daisy, please do something! I. I have to do it. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what we are. have to be this way. Uh, huh? We may be having all those thoughts, but that doesn't make them true. I know things aren't great right now, but we can make them better. Remember our first conversation? We bounce back. We always do. We can we'll do, do it together, together if you, if wish, you so. wish so. <laughs> I do. I'm blonde again. Huh? I'm opaque again. Myself again, and I will never, ever forget that. Daisy! Thank the stars you're okay! Say, something about you changed. You got new contacts? It's something about your eyes, is it? What happened to past Daisy? She's here, with me, where she belongs. What?! She possessed you again?! No, no, it's not like that. It's more of a mutual thing, you know? Like past and present reunited, as it always should have been. It's a little bit hard to explain. 
Considering how the power of the stars works, I think this checks out. Hmm, so you absorbed your past self, huh? I wouldn't exactly use the word absorbed, but... Is it like in those horror movies, when an alien monster eats up your body mass? Or more like a parasitic twin thing? You're kind of ruining the moment with that imagery, dear. Oh, is it like when we all merge together with many, many voices in your head that just won't shut up? It's like that! Quit it, dear! But after she came out of the pipe, nothing. Almost complete silence. All the lost princess could hear was the gentle rustling of the tail tree leaves, as well as her own trembling breathing. Suddenly, she was fearful of all the dark spots around her, especially those behind her. She kept looking behind her back, and looking, and looking. Nothing was there. But when she turned back... collection once in a while. <sighs> you know, I'm really grateful that despite everything that happened lately, we still hang out together. Thank you for being my friends. Aww! I love you guys! <laughs> Aww, same! It's like it's always been. But boy, did we come a long way. I've made up with my past. And I'm more accepting of my present. I've realized I can be selfish. And I'm trying to listen more to others. I've stayed exactly the same. No changes whatsoever. But you know what? I'm glad we solved this thing all by ourselves. It would have been pretty embarrassing to have the Mario Brothers get involved and somehow save the day. It's not like they were even around anyway. Has anybody even heard from them lately? You'll know that Alice's real conspiracy thing around me that's been going on for years? It turned out to be a prophecy in the weirdest way ever. You won't believe how that happened. I am not strong enough for this. They can do their own thing if they want to. I'm not concerned about those things anymore. From now on, no more worrying about being uninvited. No more fear of missing out. I'm happy with what I have, and I wouldn't want it any other way. <sighs> You're here! You never stay in place, huh? Special delivery for you! Oh? Have your mail forwarded next time! What is it? Yeah! Tell us, dear! Uh, uh, I'm invited to Smash!
absolutely no changes whatsoever.